What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be going over pretty much every mod on the car and why the title of the video is Baby It's Just a Six. Pretty much my close friends started calling me like Lil Gavin, Baby It's Just a Six because I mean, <laughs> same year model, same make, S550 platform, Coyote 5.0 engine. But uh, we'll dive a little bit more into it. Some people even call it like uh, Gavin's heavenly twin or something. <laughs> Cause he got like the all black and rocking the white on black. But yeah, y'all gonna see a little bit more why they like to call me that. So under the hood, we packing with a Gen 1 actually. VMP 2.3 liter supercharger. Uh, 1320 junkie intake. We got the, uh, <laughs> how you doing? I right, keep it pushing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 1320 junkie intake. As you can see, pretty damn massive, honestly. Then we got the air motive fuel systems, fuel pressure gauge which is adjustable by the way we on a 69 millimeter pulley right now on 93 pump grass still got the two factory d gas bottles nothing too serious we ain't we ain't as crazy as just, it's just a six but shout out to that guy you know that car <laughs> it's just crazy man but going back here to the back of the car for a little bit more uh got the mmd v series wing picked it up used from a guy uh brand new i think they ran you about 449 dollars unpainted i might be wrong got the american muscle i already know <laughs> american muscle tent kit all the way around on the tail lights side markers headlights turn signals all that and as far as the 50 gt and the uh the pony on the front that's actually not a badge i dipped it myself i think it was rust olim easy easy peel something like that yeah, I'll put it down there in the description if y'all want to know, though. We probably need to go back over that. But uh, we'll go back a little bit more into the power of the car. We don't have a solid number on the car yet. On 93, I mean, as far as a guess, we can say about 750, 780 maybe on 93. It is on E85, but we haven't got the tune figured all the way out. Anybody wondering? Competition Auto to tune and install the supercharger and also the fuel system too let me not forget about that solid dual pump kit pretty good kit no problems out of it yet oh jlt catch can shout out to jlt <laughs> oh yeah zd mach 600 clutch single disc actually been holding up pretty good after we bled it the second time uh we got the dss one piece drive shaft aluminum Got the uh, four performance, 1500 horsepower axles. And I wasn't gonna actually go with those. I was thinking more 800 horsepower, but it was a guy about two hours away from me that had them for $850 in perfect condition. They were out of a red car. I could not turn it down. So got them, me and my buddy threw them in, no problem. Uh, or is the tire set up and the wheels? I, I think I was actually not trying to brag, but I think I'm actually one of the first people I've seen that had these wheels, and I picked them up from a guy, and I traded them my GT350 wheels, which I might throw a, a picture in, clip it. But 18-inch, uh, I think it's 18 by 5, VMS front runner, Mickey Thompson Sportsman, 26 by 8, I want to say, 8 tall, uh, Mickey Thompson ET Screed R's, Pretty damn good tire. Can't really complain with the power level I'm making, but the hits that I've been making on it, we I haven't even dropped the tire pressure, and it's not too bad as far as spinning goes. So, and honestly, tread wear been pretty good for the vicious burnouts and as many hits that we've done on it. So, like I said, can't complain. 305, 45, 17, also VMS in the back too. Go a little bit into the exhaust. We have the eBay special speed daddy headers on it and i'm telling you i tell everybody if you have one of these coyotes 
Do not go with anything but those Speed Daddy headers, and you cannot go wrong. $167, and they will hook up to a pipes and a BBK mid pipe for long tube headers. I found a uh, BBK mid pipe for my car for $100 used on eBay. Hooked them up to those Speed Daddies and connected it right into the H pipe uh, MBRP catback system that was already on the car. And I can't complain. I mean, I had what maybe $300 and a whole header set up and people are paying like $500 for the cheapest which are like BBKs and let's see if we can get a little bit into it as you can see a little bit they are in damn pretty good shape I had those on the car for almost a year now and I can't complain we'll go over here into the wiring a couple of you guys with the uh Watt box and two step might know what's going on. You see that? Well, up and up a little bit. Oh, as you can see, cocaine, baby. Yeah, got the N2MB Watt box hooked up with the two step, and of course, six speed fun box, which is another reason why I get called little Gavin, whatever. I mean. I don't have a problem with the name because I love Gavin's channel. If you guys don't know who it is, at is just a six. Definitely go give him a like, a follow, a subscribe, whatever you can do to support that man. He he's awesome, great driver, absolutely ridiculous car. My car ain't got nothing on that car. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever though. <laughs> we try. I got just, it's just a little budget bill, Coyote. I don't have all the money in the world except for this this is all the money in the world to me pretty much every dime i've ever made or acquired has went into this car but i love cars i always have i always love mustangs this is my third one had two fox bodies a black one and a gold one about five speed cars i mean that's pretty much it though as far as i can remember that's pretty much it i don't know who that was but i mean there might be some small stuff here and there that I'm forgetting. Not quite sure. Crack windshield. <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, I guess I can tell y'all some more about like what I'm thinking about doing to the car in the future, which I honestly don't really know at this point because um, I want to make way more power. I want to go way more faster and I'm pretty sure if you have a car like this or any car at all, you have the same goal as I do. It's never enough power. You're never fast enough. You always want to go faster. And as much as I love manual, um, I may swap all of my stuff off or take it off and sell it, revert my car back to stock and trade it in and get a 10 R80 car. If you don't know what that is, that's a 10 speeds. They are uh, coming to Gen 3 Coyotes, 18, 19 and up. And uh, <laughs> I don't care how long you've been driving manual, you will never outshift that thing, <laughs> never. And I mean, I know a couple guys even around where I'm from, biggest name would be Anthony Ballard. Y'all guys check him out too. He also does great work right there at Signature Speed in Lenore, North Carolina, I wanna say. And uh, he had a white car, 10 already car. I think it was a Gen 5 Whipple, fuel system, stock trans, stock motor, and it was running like, I don't even want to lie. It was something crazy, like eight, eight fives in a quarter mile, I want to say, which is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. I love this car to death. It gives me so much of a hard time, but that's what makes your car your car. It's a bonding process. And honestly, if I do keep the car, I'm most likely going to go turbo 400 in it don't know what that is it's a older chevrolet transmission which was a three-speed transmission and that means it's automatic guys <laughs> but i mean as much as i love manual automatics will always be faster it's just a matter of what you want i personally myself i believe that a manual will always be more fun than automatic if you know what you're doing but as far as like wanting to have fun and wanting to win races you have to go automatic it's more consistent it's way easier most likely gonna break less stuff <laughs> i mean it's just just how it goes guys but 
I really haven't really made up my mind. I know JPC, they make great kits for them. Stage one, I think it supports almost 900 wheel. And it's about $5,500, I want to say, which, I mean, honestly, ain't too bad. I mean, you guys can say I'm crazy for saying that's not too bad, but even with the mods that I have on my car currently, making the same power, if I throw that turbo 400 in, I'm going to pick up almost eight, <laughs> like eight tenths of a second to a whole second faster than eighth a mile and quarter mile. It's ridiculous. So I'm not really sure as far as what I'm wanting to do with the current power adder. And I'll actually go more into depth while I'm at that. Uh, as you heard me say, it is the Gen 1 VMP, the first one they ever produced, which I didn't even know you could buy it. I don't even think VMP like sells them at all. I was a little skeptical about it because it was used off of a guy's car from Texas and he sold it for literally so cheap. It was like $2,500 for that and he'll throw in ID 1050s, which I forgot, ID 1050s for the uh, fuel injectors. And that also runs along with the uh, Solly kit I was talking about, which if you guys don't know that Solly kit is about $1,200 and so are those injectors. And he let me get him for like $750 a piece, which was basically buy one, get one free. So I walked away with a whole supercharger and fuel system kit for almost $3,700. And I just could not turn that down. I just had plenty of money left over for my black car and I sold it and I just did it. So that leads us to here now. Um, I know you guys probably are like, oh, he can't drive. He's never did anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. It's hate all the time. I'm not really worried about it. I haven't really gotten a time on my car yet since we got it back and everything has been done, but hopefully, most likely, I probably will not this season because most, most tracks are closing. So it's probably gonna be next year before I can really get a time on it, which sucks because I'm probably <laughs> never gonna get a time on this setup because I'm probably gonna change it by then, but it's, no, it's whatever. <laughs> I mean, I can give you a time on whenever it was on motor. It had an 18 intake, KOT, and uh, same speed 80 headers and at Luntune. And no, okay, yeah. Luntune and once again, Competition Auto, Carl Messenger, great guy. I'm pretty sure the last time I ran it on motor and it ran the best time it was to my Carl. So it ran a 7.3 at 97 or 98 miles per hour. I can't remember through the eighth. And I honestly couldn't really complain. And that was with like a 1.760 foot. So the car definitely picked up really good on the big end. And, uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is crazy i parked on this road to stop traffic <laughs> and they still i can this is retarded man like this is literally my first like <laughs> actual youtube video i'm trying to do and i still can't get away from it but uh i mean i can go into more depth and give y'all guys any more details anything if you guys want to know anything let me know down there in the comments um that's pretty much it, I believe. But yeah, like I said, if you guys want to know anything, you need any help, you got any questions, please let me know down there in the comment section. Subscribe, like, and let's hope. Let's hope and pray. Let's, let's do this. And uh, we out. Thanks, boys.